Welcome to the Not All Better Show. I'm your host, Paul Vogelson. Today's show is part of our Fitness Friday series, sponsored by Health IQ. Remember, Health IQ is an insurance agency that helps health conscious people like runners, cyclists, weightlifters, and all exercise enthusiasts get lower rates on their life insurance. Go to healthiq.com slash N-O-B-S to support the show and learn more about the great healthy fitness-related life insurance quotes from Health IQ. Today's show is another great one in our Fitness Friday series. Following our Fitness Friday news, our guest is registered dietitian Carmen Roberts. Carmen Roberts has undergraduate and graduate degrees in dietetics and health education, and she teaches cooking classes with an emphasis on how nutrition affects the body and its role in overall health and wellness. But first, our Fitness Friday news. The Not All Better Show Fitness Friday News. From March 2018 Health Reports Magazine, I found some excellent research on superfoods, which will be exactly in line with our guest expert, registered dietitian Carmen Roberts, who will join us in just a bit. We are still in winter, no question about it, but as daylight endures longer and things start warming up, spring influences you to feel somewhat more joyful in light of the fact that you can now put all that overwhelming but delicious comfort food aside and begin anew with healthy superfoods for your spring healthy eating regimen. I've gathered together the five main superfoods for spring to enable you to welcome the season and awaken your craving for somewhat light, invigorating, and loaded with flavor, plus energy-boosting supplements and cancer-fighting elements. (laughs) And here they are. Number one is avocados. Avocados are rich and ideal for toast and spreads, and you can cut out the substantial mayo. Avocados give almost 20 fundamental supplements, including fiber, omega-3, unsaturated fats, vitamins A, C, D, E, K, and B vitamins, (laughs) all of which help kill free radicals that can harm our cells. Number two, spinach. Notwithstanding being an extraordinary wellspring of vitamin C and folate, two supplements that reinforce your immune system and avoid allergies, spinach is likewise rich in a compound called betaine, which has been found to help exercise performance. Number three, radishes. Here's a cancer-fighting tip. Eat radishes and broccoli. Radishes contain a catalytic enzyme called myrosinase, which aids your body in ingestion of the cancer-fighting elements found in broccoli. Radish leaves contain more vitamin C, calcium, and protein than the radishes themselves. So, hurl the leaves into a pesto, pan fry, or your next smoothie. And now on to blueberries, speaking of smoothies. When it comes to healthy superfoods, blueberries cannot be overlooked. While you can't pick your own particular until summer, begin eating these wonders at the present time by buying them frozen at the supermarket. Wash them and fly those blueberries into your mouth or add them to smoothies or servings in a mixed green salad. These well-known berries are known for their high cell reinforcement content. They are likewise rich in vitamin K, manganese, vitamin C, and copper. They've been connected to mental health and memory function as well. Number five, carrots. We're going to be talking about carrots in just a bit with registered dietitian Carmen Roberts. But carrots, which are best known for their ability to improve and protect eyesight, actually offer significant health benefits that extend to other major areas of the body leading many health experts to dub the orange vegetable a superfood. As a matter of fact, the U.S. Department of Agriculture recommends adults eat at least four servings of vegetables per day and it's easy to make carrots a part of your daily diet as they can be eaten both raw and cooked. Carrots also contain beta carotene. A study found that people who consumed beta carotene on a regular basis had a reduced risk of developing colon cancer. That's it for our Fitness Friday news, but stay tuned for our interview with Carmen Roberts. I tell my clients that the mouth is the gateway to the body. 
everything that you eat and drink can have a profound effect on your health. Chronic diseases such as heart disease, cancer, stroke, type 2 diabetes, and even obesity are the leading cause of death and disability in the United States, and all of these chronic diseases can be improved or even cured through proper nutrition. And remember, do not touch that dial because we're going to be right back with Carmen Roberts. But speaking of nutrition, as I mentioned, the Not Old Better Show is proudly sponsored by Health IQ. All the Not Old Better Show audience knows what a fitness fan I am with yoga, cardio, stretching, and weightlifting part of my daily routine. I try to eat right too, and we've talked about it here a lot with my love of good food and fitness. I found a life insurance agency who loves fitness too and rewards those of us who exercise and lead healthy lifestyles with exclusive, special, and lower rates. Health IQ tells me that their customers save between 4 and 33% on their life insurance. Health IQ can do that because physically active people have a 56% lower risk of heart disease compared to people who are inactive. Makes sense, right? Like saving money on your car insurance for being a good driver. Health IQ saves you money on your life insurance for living a health conscious lifestyle. Trust Pilot gives Health IQ a 9.6 out of 10 rating. Health IQ factors in low heart rate, BMI or body mass index, the body's percentage of fat, and gym membership, which helps with rates and qualifying. These are real advantages, according to Health IQ. Check out Health IQ's testimonials from USA Racquetball, US Master Swimming, American Trail Runners Association, and many others. They are really great. And check out the Health IQ quiz, which is eye-opening and really fun to do. That's healthiq.com slash N-O-B-S. Check out Health IQ for more details and mention the Not Old Better Show. Thanks. Carbon Roberts, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to talk to you, especially about nutrition. This is on everybody's mind. So let's let's start right off with a, a nutritional benefits question. Tell us a little bit about the nutritional benefits of carrot juice as kind of a, a superfood and its potential cancer-fighting properties. Well, carrot juice has really gained popularity, particularly since juicing has gained popularity. Um, carrot juice in particular has a lot of great health benefits particularly those um, benefits that relate to cancer prevention. It's very high in vitamin A and also in the other vitamin C, vitamin D, E, and K. Um, and vitamin A is a really powerful antioxidant, so it's, very, um, it's a good thing for cancer prevention. Recent research has also linked carrot juice to prevention of COPD or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, um, some other research has shown that it can protect brain health and also cognitive function, as well as eye health. Um, so in addition to the cancer prevention and all these other wonderful things we're finding out about it, it's also been shown to decrease risk of heart disease as well as stroke. Thank you for that. that that's really helpful. It sounds like carrot juice might be very helpful for us. So what are some of the other benefits of juicing? One thing I like about juicing is I feel like it gives you the biggest bang for your buck in terms of all the nutritional benefits of fruit and vegetables without a lot of the bulk. Um, Many people find it really difficult to achieve that recommended five to nine servings of fruits and vegetables a day. Mm -hmm. Um, Just to give you an example, you'd have to eat five cups of sliced carrots to get the nutritional benefits of Mm -hmm. one cup of carrot juice. Um, So juicing is a really great way to get all of those nutrients into your body without feeling like you're being bogged down with consuming fruits and vegetables throughout the day. When I kind of think of juicing, uh, you know, the other thing that comes to my mind are are smoothies, and and I I personally love smoothies. I noticed that you have written about smoothies. So tell us what uh, your favorite smoothie recipe is and which one's best for those of us who are over age 55. Um, Well, I have lots of good smoothie recipes. One of my favorites that I like to tell my clients about, it's super simple, I like to call the Orange Crush. Um, It contains three oranges, a half cup of cranberries, and you can use fresh or frozen, one carrot, and just a teaspoon of cinnamon. You can just blend that up or put it in your juicer. And the reason I like this, the oranges provide a ton of vitamin C. Um, The cranberries have some really powerful antioxidants in them. 
the carrot, we talked about some of the benefits of carrot juice. And cinnamon um, is really gaining a lot of popularity as well, looking at kind of its anti-inflammatory properties and also its ability to fight some of the symptoms or actually causes of diabetes. We are with Carmen Roberts. Carmen Roberts has written extensively about nutrition as a registered dietitian and a health educator in Health Central. We'll put up links to where we can find some of those articles, uh, Carmen, but I thought it might be interesting to maybe talk a little bit about the weather. It's still cold outside here, and so hot drinks are are perfect, and you, you referred earlier to this idea of cinnamon. So what delicious hot drinks might offer some kind of chronic disease prevention? And might they be even ginger-based drinks in addition to cinnamon? Yes. Well, many teas, um, and I can go over some of the examples Mm, of teas that I recommend to Mm -hmm. some of my clients. Um, Ginger tea specifically, it really is used for anti-nausea and also as an anti-inflammatory. So patients that are undergoing cancer treatment or maybe have chronic GI disorders where um, nausea is a frequent symptom can really benefit from ginger tea. Some other types of teas um, that have good health benefits, um, chamomile tea has been shown to increase the complications of diabetes, as well as actually reduces some of the symptoms of people with IBS. Um, Green tea it also gained a lot of popularity um, because of its powerful antioxidant properties. Um, white tea has actually also been shown um, to have some cancer prevention properties as well as benefits for oral and brain health. Um, and coffee, if you're not a tea drinker, also has some great health benefits as well. It's been shown to decrease the risk of type 2 diabetes to improve heart health and also recently been shown to decrease risk of developing Parkinson's disease. What are the other teas that I found as I was looking into some of your Health Central articles? Was a tea that, I'll, I hope I can pronounce this correctly, it's Moringa tea. Am I, am I getting that right? Yes, you're right. <laughs> okay, that certainly caught my attention. What is it, and, and what does it do? Well, this tea is actually made from the dried leaves of a really small tree that's native to India and Pakistan. It's very concentrated in its nutrients. Um, So drinking this tea can actually help people with a number of chronic conditions, and it's often used to decrease pain caused by chronic inflammatory conditions such as rheumatoid arthritis. Um, So a lot of people are using this um, for pain management kind of from a natural perspective. Um, It's also been linked to help with improvement in digestive health. That is really fascinating. So we're going to put links up to where we can find Carmen Roberts, her articles on Health Central. Carmen is a health educator, a nutritionist, registered dietitian. This has been really fascinating stuff. Thanks so much, Carmen Roberts, for joining us today. Thanks for having me, Paul. To learn more about nutritionist Carmen Roberts, please check out our website. And thanks to all of you, my wonderful audience, for your charming, encouraging, and advice-driven emails with show and topic suggestions. I love them, so please keep them coming at info at notold-better.com. And thanks again to Health IQ. Join me for our next show, another great one, as we talk about better. The Not Old Better Show. Thanks, everybody.